A lot of people are talking about Olympic track and field athlete Gwen Berry. Now, if you don't know, she won a bronze medal at the U.S. Olympic trials on Saturday for the hammer throw, but she turned her back on the flag as the national anthem was being played. In protest, she also put a shirt over her head that had the words activist athlete. Some are saying this is an embarrassment to America and she shouldn't be going to the Olympics to represent the U.S. if she's not willing to honor the flag and the anthem. But the White House is defending her. Here's what the press secretary press secretary said about it yesterday. I, I haven't spoken to the president specifically about this, but I know he's incredibly proud to be an American uh, and has great respect for the anthem and all that it represents, especially for our, our men and women serving in uniform all around the world. He would also say, of course, that part of that pride in our country means recognizing there are moments where we are, as a country, haven't lived up to our highest ideals. And it means respecting the right of people granted to them in the Constitution to peacefully protest. Erica, what'd you make of this? Um, I think that was an excellent answer from the White House, especially since everyone wants to talk about their freedom of speech. That freedom of speech is afforded to every American citizen to peacefully say or represent what they would like to say and represent. I think what she did is very brave. I know she's gonna get a lot of backlash for it, but also there are gonna be people who support. We are not a perfect nation. And until we get to that perfection, which likely will never happen in our lifetime, then people need to be able to say their piece and say it peacefully. Right, yeah, I mean, look, there's gonna be, in order to have this conversation, which we only have a few seconds to have at this point, we have to understand that both can be true. You can have a couple different thoughts in your head. Yeah. And I am willing to sit and listen and nod my head and truly understand when somebody says, hey, I, I appreciate their ability to protest, but I find that offensive because of this. That's why th this hurts my feelings. But we have to understand that every movement, whether it was the women's suffrage movement or you know the civil rights movement, they were not well received at first, but now it's completely normal to have two female co-hosts where that was unheard of, to have female comedians, that was once unheard of. So we have to have these movements that are uncomfortable at first for some before we can get to a place where we couldn't be more bored with the conversation. So we have to understand that it starts from somewhere and both parties can have an opinion. It's okay. If they listen to one another, right. right? That's what's missing is people aren't listening to really why they see the headline. They see her back turning the flag. I understand why it's offensive, but they don't actually unpack it and actually have conversations with people. Cause I think both sides to your point have a right to feel what they feel. And they both have a right to feel either offended or they're making some sort of a protest considering the 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 discrimination in this country so i just hope that people really do give one another the chance to explain themselves instead of just lumping onto one side and isolating one another because we are already so divided in this country